I'm back. Um, so I've got another, um, I guess, sorry, I'm supposed to do it this way. Story time. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've got another thing I want to cover about this that I want to share and let people know about. Um, so another way that I figured out, um, how they were telling on themselves and, uh, how they've been doing things and another way that makes no sense which will probably confuse the hell out of y'all maybe you'll come up with some common sense way um i was with a company that's supposed to help with mental health disorders because my father had me sign up with them and they were using them to be kind of their um in between a flying monkey would be the best way to go so if i started to act out or do something they could call the cops and they could use them to send me away by using the cops and using them as a resource to get me into the hospital. Um, anyways, during my time, briefly my mother and father were approved to be a part of my um, information that they were allowed to know from the company that I was with. Um, when they sent me back to the hospital, long story short, I fell asleep out in front of, outside their car, outside their house in my car, um, and my dad called the cops on me and claimed I was doing something mentally deranged, apparently. Um, was there, the cops were there for like two, three hours. Anyways, um, don't know all the details on what was talked about with the mental health police officer when he showed up um, but I was detained for falling asleep in my car um, while waiting outside while trying to figure out where I was gonna go because I couldn't stay at my parents house um, that literally that that is the story there's no lie there I didn't do anything else but fall asleep in my car um, so I end up at the hospital. I'm there for a short while. They send me out. Before I go to the hospital, before the cops, like, as the cops are there, I finally get a message from somebody else that I used to think was a friend, but we kind of had a falling out. Or actually, we had a big falling out. Um, she's a part of this shit. I didn't really realize it at the time. I didn't know. Um, she offered for me to come stay with her. Um, so the offer was still good after I got out of the hospital and I went and stayed with her. Anyways, she's a part of this shit, by the way. She is um, a fly monkey and enlisted people herself. Anyways, long story short, to keep this two point, um, one of the things they did, because they can access my cell phone whenever the fuck they want, um, do whatever they want to it, which is what I've been telling y'all. Um, they I was sleeping and they blew a couple of people up on my phone for no reason while I was asleep, randomly called them several times, and then called my father like, I think almost 20 times. And apparently my dad claimed he was uh, worried or I was making obnoxious phone calls or something because there was breathing on the other line is what the police officer said when the police showed up to um, find out why I was basically prank calling or some shit like that to my father. Um, <laughs> I was asleep. That's why you heard breathing. He knew I was asleep. Um, but he called the police anyways. Um, at this juncture, they had no access to me through the company that I was with on any information whatsoever not a damn thing um, so they didn't know where I was at they didn't know where I was staying and they didn't know that I was in Allen Texas or at least they weren't supposed to um, I paid for my own cell phone plan so they shouldn't have any any way of tracking me on it on it in any way um, when the cops came and talked to me about it um, I asked the police officer, I said, how did he even know I was here? And the cop looked puzzled and he didn't know how to answer me. He's like, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I told him I didn't, I didn't tell him where I was. And uh, the girl I was with suddenly perked up and said, oh, it was that company. They must have told them, called them and got the information from them. Nope, 
they're not allowed to get information from them to my parents about me, about any of that shit. Um, they didn't have permission to do that. Um, and the guy, the officer didn't say it was the company. He said it was my father that called. So, um, that's another way that I figured out how to tell y'all how they are doing this, that they know these things. I mean, I can't even go to the bathroom piece. It's like ridiculous. Um, showers, my entire life, every moment, sleeping, everything. They're there. They know. They know where I'm at. They know everywhere I'm at. They know what I'm doing. They have access to me all the time. And I'm supposed to call this schizophrenia or bipolar. It's not. So, I mean, whatever. So, I just thought I'd share that. Um, anyways, that's it for now.